made to measure suiting is a luxury service that offers you a world of fabric choices, styling options that can be overwhelming if you haven't been exposed to the world of tailoring. If you have never experienced made to measure and you are considering the service, then we suggest you hang around for the video as we are going to go over a few steps that we take with our clients before they commit to buying anything in store. Whenever we consult with one of our clients, we always ask a series of questions that will help narrow down the choices to help with the selection process. There is no benefit showing our clients thousands of fabric choices, button choices and styling options when it really can be narrowed down without the overwhelming choices that comes with made to measure. It's our job to help guide our clients based on what their budget is, what they need it for, and what season they plan on wearing such a garment. In this video, we will go over the process we take when consulting for our clients. I will go over the approach we take when consolidating fabrics and styling options, and we'll give you examples and questions we ask to give you an idea of what you can expect when considering made to measure for yourself. This will hopefully provoke some thought and give you a better idea about the service. Now, before we get into the questions, there's a few things that you, you might wanna know. There's tailoring styles. The most common that you would find in the tailoring world is British and Neapolitan styles of tailoring. English tailoring in short is based off the military and hacking styles that come from horse riding. Typically the shape of the shoulders are straight with broader shoulder pads. The internal construction is traditionally stiffer in order to hold up military metals such as metals. The inside of the jacket is usually fully lined and as the climate is typically colder, heavier wool is usually the first choice. The next common style of tailoring is a Neapolitan style of tailoring. The styling follows the natural lines of your silhouette, usually made with a softer shoulder or no shoulder pads at all, but the design philosophy focuses on more a comfortable and easier wear. The lapels are typically high up near the front of the shoulders that create air, the illusion of the wearer being slenderer than what they would otherwise appear. It'll be made with very minimal lining, if not any at all, and it'll be constructed with either a very soft canvassing or an unconstructed option. So in other words, a more comfortable approach to tailoring, which is also governed by the climate in that region. So let's talk about construction, which is usually the first thing that we go over in our consultation process. Now in a previous video, I have gone over the different types of construction suits are usually made with. If you used half canvas and full canvas options, in my opinion, if you are considering made to measure, it should be at a minimum made with half canvas. You can choose Fuse, which will be much cheaper, but I wouldn't suggest this option. It is inferior to the other choices. Now, majority of the time before we go any further with the measuring and, and lining options, we talk about fabrics. There are so many options when it comes to the cloth for your outfit. English and European wools will have their own varied options, and furthermore, its origin and where the wool is sourced, how it's milled, woven and dyed will factor in cost. Fundamentally, European and English cloth makers produce a more luxurious wool or cloth and it is the industry standard for custom clothing. So let's break it down to help you with the type of fabric you'll be choosing. Now the first question we ask our client is, what do you need it for? Where would you be wearing this garment? Is it for work? Is it for a wedding? Are you after a formal jacket to wear at different types of events? What season will this be for? Most of the time we create garments for gentlemen who can't find something they like in the ready to wear world. Also, not everyone fits into an off the rack suit. There will always be alterations for ready to wear. Made to measure allows you the freedom of choice whilst perfecting the fit ready to wear doesn't offer. The follow up question we ask to this is, are you after a staple color? Is it something seasonal? This will determine the weight and color of the fabric you choose. If you want something for the season of summer, we will most likely show you a light weighted fabric. If it is for winter, then we will show you a heavier weighted cloth that will, be, that will have autumn and winter characteristics. If it's a suit you need for all year round, then we will show you fabrics that are high performance based and will consist of the four season color variants such as navy, charcoal and blacks. Fabrics come in all sorts of weights and super fine categories. We have all seen the super number on fabric, however, I won't go into it in this video. There is quite a lot to cover in this regard, so we will touch briefly on it during the consultation with our client. Fundamentally, the heavier weight of the wool, like 350 grams or above, will be for the winter season, such as coats and overcoats, with some exceptions leaning towards the linen options, two for summer. 210 to 250 will be for spring, summer. We will also show you high performance fabrics that will be suitable for everyday wear also. Depending on where you go for your made to measure garment, you should be offered various lapel and pocketing options. Both will correspond with the style you decide, whether it be English or Napolitana inspired. Notch, peak and short collar options will be presented to you and their subset of variants. For example, the curve of the lapel or even the width of the lapel. 
Now, depending on your body proportions, we still need to factor in if your shape and measurements prior to selecting certain styles, as not all styles will work with certain body shapes. After this process, we will present to you lining, button, and detailing options such as satin and piping details for your jacket and trousers. Once we have completed the styling phase, we then move on to the most important part, which is taking your measurements. Now onto the questions that you should be asking, but before we get into that, just a little bit of a brief in regards to the make and the origin of make of suits. Now made to measure these days and even online custom made retailers will have a preferred supplier they use to facilitate to work. In our case, we use a European company to make our garments and the reason we use Europe is the experience they bring to the table. China also has many factories that can produce the work also and every factory will have their own standard of make. It will basically come down to what is it that you value the most? Are you inspired to have your garment made in Europe or in Asia? And of course, it comes down to budget, as China will be a cheaper option. So what should I ask? When buying your first made-to-measure garment, you should ask the following questions. Do you make your garments with half or full canvas? Where is your garment made? What fabrics do you have on offer? Can you also show me some examples of jackets and suits you have made for previous clients? This should give you an idea of the quality and attention to the detail the company uses to produce your garments. And at the end of the day, it does come down to trust. Made to measure isn't cheap, and it shouldn't be cheap. It should be an inspirational piece to add to your wardrobe that should last you a very long time. Now that wraps up today's video. If you have made it this far, we, we thank you very, very much for watching. And if you have any questions about Made to Measure and about anything that we do in particular, feel free to contact us. Our details will be in the description below. And again, like and subscribe for more videos and I will see you in the next one.